like I said, I find some of the craziest things in the bins of books. It, it's it's really, it, it's, it's crazy. That's all I can say. I got another one I'll talk about in a second that I got out of the bin of books. Hey everybody, Mike, the Golden State Picker, back in my garage as usual. I'm going to show you a few things that we sold. We're going to talk about just a couple of interesting things. Some people have been inquiring about a few things. And uh, so we'll just chit chat about some of that stuff. Uh, show you some things that we sold that we have. And uh, I've been a little bit under the weather. Still got a little bit of this cough. So I've been shipping as I go along because I've been running out of energy and so I make I haven't made as a bunch of videos, so I will show you. Uh, I think I got four items that I think are kind of cool, just that you can kind of see that sold that didn't make it in videos in the past. You know, these are about two or three weeks old. These kind of items, but the items that I sold today I have. So we'll talk about that. I'm getting a lot of questions uh, on my Instagram page and a lot of other areas about Amazon because a lot of people are thinking, what's going on with Amazon? Yes, Amazon seems to have hit a wall. Uh, it's gotten slow. So if you're doing Amazon FBA uh, and you're asking me, yeah, it has, it has something's going on there in the last seven to 10 days. Uh, for me, uh, I don't worry about it. Uh, it seems to happen sometimes with them. So some things that you kind of can do to <clears throat> refresh your mind, basically, to say, hey, <clears throat> you want to go back and compare. So what I do uh, when I, things don't seem right is I go back to the same period last year just to kind of uh, see what's going on. Now, my Amazon is actually up over last year. But you see what I'm saying? It seems these last 10 days feel off. My eBay is down, but I haven't been out a lot because I've been sick. I was in uh, North Carolina for basically week of January. So that can be a little bit off. So if you take the two, I am down about $1,000 overall between the two. So fairly even, 1,000 is nothing if you know what I'm after here on my channel. So. It is a little tricky out there right now. It is a little bit uh, soft, a little bit slow. And another thing that I'm getting, a lot of Amazon FBA book people are asking me this question. How come I'm getting so many requires approval uh, messages when I'm using ScanLister and that kind of thing? Well, I get them too. I don't get as many as you probably do. If you're new to it, every it seems like I was... I've been doing Amazon FBA for four years. So I'm four years grandfathered in or whatever you want to call it. So if you're newer, maybe you're seeing a lot more of this approval stuff because Amazon is really tightened up in a lot of areas uh, of their website. You just don't know with Amazon. Hey, I remember when I first signed up for Amazon, I didn't have to have an interview. I think now you have to actually have an interview with somebody or they, have to, they want to make sure it's you. There's so much fraud. There's so much stuff that goes on on eBay and Amazon that they just, you know, they're having to make some, some, uh, draw some lines. But trust me, if you're starting out, stick with it. Grind through those issues, okay? If you do, you'll be okay. It takes time. It takes time. I even get those occasionally. So don't, don't fret it too much. All right. All right, hey, the other thing I thought was kind of interesting that's been going on is all these balloons in our country. What's going on with all the balloons? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's absolutely bizarre. But I tell you what, I, I'm i not a conspiracy theorist. I'm also not anti-government, okay? Um, I am just, they shoot themselves in the foot over and over. They drag their feet. They have to know something about these three balloons. We know the first one was a Chinese whatever. What are these other three, okay? I mean, at one point I'm thinking to myself, can um, Dollar Tree balloons get that high? I mean, I don't know, they, who knows, you know? Were they shooting down a bunch of, uh, like I said, Dollar Tree balloons? I'm, you get what I'm getting at here. They have to know. When they drag their feet on something like this, that's when all the conspiracy things, the uh, uh, aliens, all this kind of stuff gets out there. And if they don't sit out and get it to us right away, 
you know, they create a lot of these, their own problems. You know, um, no matter what side of the aisle you sit on right now, these guys are mucking up the works every single day, every single day. That's why it's so important to get control of your life financially, get as far away from the government as you can. Uh, yeah, we have to pay taxes. There are certain things we have to do, but I don't want them in controlling any part of my life. I want to be in control. And what does that mean? Financially. Financially, I don't want to have to be holding to them for something. That's just not the way it's supposed to be, people. If you can be basically self-sufficient financially yourself, boy, life will be a lot easier. That's coming up in another video someday. So I've got a lot of stuff I'm thinking about. Uh, you know me here. <laughs> so anyhow. All right, let's uh, let's get into some things that we uh, sold. Let's take a peek. I'll make this video fairly fast, fairly fast. Wow. Uh, sold the Halloween item. I'm going to put it up real quick. We're real, real, real quick. Got to slow down, Mike. Be patient. <laughs> All right, what we sell? We sold Frankenstein, and Frankenstein sold, look at him, he's cool, he was in good shape. He sold, this is uh, February, and I uh, I held out during Halloween, it was a real close to Halloween, so I knew it was going to be tough, but I held out, I got a message from a lady from San Diego area, and she said, hey, is shipping, you know, can you can you look at shipping? I had $69 shipping on that. You know, if you've seen me here, I always price to Florida. So I said, yeah, let me look at it. Let's see what we can come up with. So I estimated, I said, hey, my time and everything, $40. So I had 69. I said, look, if you take $30 off the price um, and leave the shipping, that would be the easiest thing to do, in my opinion. So that's what we did. We agreed on that. So she paid, I think, $120 plus $69 shipping. So that's how we worked that out. That's what I'm talking about. Remember I said, hey, don't be afraid to set it high. Uh, I don't like to do the calculated thing where all that kind of stuff, uh, no, it does, doesn't work for me. We've got videos coming up on that kind of stuff in the future. Please trust me, i am just been a little bit behind. Uh, I'm getting to it. I talked to my son about it today. So we're, we're trying to figure out how we wanna do it. All right, so that was a really, really good one. So if you take a look, I think I got one, two, I got about uh, 12 or 13 items here and the total is $936. So $936. I'm going to show you uh, a couple here that I, I shipped earlier. Um, well, what I haven't, what I haven't. And this first one is a Yamaha THX receiver. I did get this one at Savers minus my 30%. It was around 20. It was 29 minus 30%, about $23, $24. It's a Yamaha TXH receiver with the remote. Very key here. This particular receiver has a very, I don't know, complex remote, and it really helps. And I sold it for $200 plus $55 shipping. Now, I'm awaiting payment. I'm showing you that I sold it. But this is the issue that I've been running into a lot. This name by this person looks a little bit uh, European, shall I say. Now... That could mean that they don't understand. The one thing that I hate is when they don't understand that if they use global shipping, there's going to be duties and some other stuff, especially on something this heavy, that is going to be more money if you're in Europe. Now, I can't see it yet because he hasn't paid, so I can just see the name. And that that's a flag's gone up, okay? Um, global shipping, uh, that's the other thing that really has been on my mind is like I said, just they don't understand it or they can't figure it out. It's like, hey, and then they don't pay and then you get a non-pay. So global shipping has its pluses and its minuses. I'll let you know if this one was what I thought it was, a global shipping, and then they saw how much it was going to cost and they go, no. So they ain't gone, they're not going to pay. That's what I'm worried about there. So, all right. This next item, I'm going to put it up here, is a vintage uh, Victorian style uh, General Western, I think, uh, telephone. Believe it or not, Josh was with me. Josh has been going to the bin of books and he's been helping out, uh, you know, doing some stuff. He's trying to learn. He's also going to school, that kind of stuff. So uh, the vintage phone was in a bin of books, this vintage phone. I got $27 plus $20 shipping. Like I said, I find some of the craziest things in the bins of books. It, it's It's really... It's it's crazy. That's all I can say. I got another one I'll talk about in a second that I got out of the bin of books. 
All right, let's go into this one. Speaking of conspiracy theories, let's go into some Illuminati. That's always good, right? Uh, here we go. This is the Illuminati game. Now, uh, I got to try to do a video. I got over 80 games out of Savers. This was probably a month, month and a half. Oh, it's probably longer than that. Almost two months ago, right before Christmas. This was one of them. 80 games came out. All kinds of them. You can imagine. All vintage 70s, 80s. A whole stack. They all were priced from $3.99 to about $7.99. I just took all 80 of them. I took them all. And I didn't care. And it was really cool because the gentleman who had these and was donating them said that they were all complete. All complete. How sweet is that, right? And uh, so this is just uh, one of the games that I've sold. I sold a couple already. And the whole total that I paid for all the games was like $327. Because what you do is if you're at Savers, here's a tip. Uh, if you have the 20% off coupon that you get for donating an item, it's only good up to $100. So what you do is if it's not a senior day, senior day you get 30% off your total. So on a 20% up to $100, you do $100, do 20%, then start another ticket, then do 20%. So I collect the... Um, 20% coupons. I donate books almost all the time. I take them from the, uh, take, I take some quality books and I'll donate them and then I'll get a coupon. So that's how that works. But the Illuminati was $20 plus $15 shipping. So $20 plus $15 shipping. All right. Now, um, out of the bin of books, obviously it's a book. This is what you look for again. It just a little book catches your eye, The Pride of Bear Creek by Robert E. Howard. Very, you know, simple. Put it when we do books, we scan our books, we put the ones that are going to Amazon into bins, and then we call these lookups. We will put it on the ground because it looks cool. When we're done, we start to look these up and see if there's some value. That's pretty much how it works. This one, $20 plus six dollars shipping. So you gotta have a sort of game plan as to what you're gonna take and what you're not gonna take. Sometimes you're gonna build a lot, you know, so you've got four or five books that maybe like say Geronimo, Geronimo Stilton, kids books, uh, Dr. Seuss, somebody does that. Then you start to keep some of the Dr. Seuss out, whatever, whatever you're gonna do. And then we try to look for these first editions, these type of books that can be really, really profitable over the long term, all right? All right, up next, out of the bin of books, and this relates to books. It's The Nook by Barnes & Noble, and this is with glow light. Works perfectly. I don't even know if it was even, even used, but I put it as used. Now, this is only a two gigabyte. The eight gigabyte, you get a little bit more money, obviously, but the two gigabyte one, this one sold for $35 plus $13 shipping. And I'm very aggressive price-wise on a lot of this stuff. You've heard me say it over and over. I do not want to become the book collector. It's difficult. Books can really add up. I've got a lot now. So that's, a, that's another project that I have to work on is trying to figure out how to be better overall on my purchasing and all of that. So a lot of these books, I'm very aggressive. I want to move them. I want to get them out. Speaking of some books, I'm going to keep going with books. Um, Grateful Dead. This is the, the official book of the Deadheads. I hate to throw this stuff away, even though this only got me $14 plus $6 shipping. $14 plus $6 shipping. I want to make sure the Deadheads are happy. I want to make sure the Deadheads are, you know, having having their, uh, their little powwow. <laughs> it's good. It's cool. You know, I just don't like to throw that kind of stuff away. All right, let's give you two more that aren't here that already shipped, all right? First one is the Kodak Slide Projector. I have talked about these many times in my video. The Kodak Slide Projectors, I will only generally buy them in the box with, and I have extra. What you need to do is if you can get some of the um, the, the carousels, the carousels for free or, or 50 cents or a dollar, you can pick up three, I have to say, pick up three or four of them and hold them back because each one of these boxes usually came with a carousel. This one didn't have that. It had the machine, it had the manuals, but no carousel. But I had extra carousels. So that's what I'm talking about. Boom, 
Same thing with power cords. Power cords are uh, very good to pick up if you can pick them up for 50 cents because if you have to buy them on Amazon, they can be seven to $12, that kind of thing. But if you can pick up a lot of power cords, when you have an amplifier that doesn't have a power cord, boom, now you do. And it just makes life so much easier. Same thing with these carousels. This one sold for $80 plus $37 shipping. And I'm telling you, you, if you, you just got to be able to test them right there. The key to this is obviously that it works, it moves. The lamp, if the lamp is working, you're pretty much going to be in that 80 to 120 range on most of these. That I only paid like 10 bucks for, $10. So keep your eye out for those, all right? Um, up next, I'm going to go back to the bin of books. We talked about this one where I got a huge lot. We were just talking about lotting up you know, Dr. Seuss, all that kind of stuff. There was a huge lot of toll painting books. Toll painting is on wood, that kind of thing. So people paint on wood, cut out shapes, all kinds of stuff, saw blades. It, there's a whole genre of toll painting. My wife's keeping some. Then I'm lotting them up in lots of 10 and selling them for 20 bucks. So $20 plus I think about $8 shipping. So $20 for these toll painting books. And that's what I do. I wrap them and then I write on here lot number seven on the cover and then I make them and put them up. So they came out of my bin of books. Um, I think I have about 250 of them. So let's say I have 220. So let's say I have basically 11 lots, right? Is that all right? No, no, more next. It's going to be 10, 10, 12, <laughs> about 20 to 21, 20 to 21. And I sell them for 20 bucks each. Now you can see, right? <laughs> Oh, math genius, math genius. I'm sorry, but you can, you can. I'm probably gonna make three or three hundred fifty bucks. That's what I. I'm, eventually they'll sell up. They'll all sell eventually. So keep your eye out for stuff like that. Don't be afraid, if, especially if you can get it for really, really cheap. Right? We talk about that. Get it cheap. All right. Last item that I don't have. No, last item I don't have here. I have two more. Stick around. I got one that's really cool. Uh, this one is. The Magna Steps or Mag Steps insoles. Remember those? Like size 16. And where did I get them? In the bin of books. So sometimes, like I said, when they're dumping books, there might be something else in the box. Well, this was in the box and I got it. $80 for these insoles plus $13 shipping. They're called Mag Steps. They are heavy and they have the little ribbed sole on them. You saw, if you watched one of my earlier videos, you did see those. And uh, interesting, so yeah, uh, very curious, very weird. All right, now let's go into the dangerous part, the Michael Myers, the Michael Myers. I think this was used by Michael Myers. No, no, but anyhow, it's just a Wustoff knife. Um, what was weird, it came out at Goodwill. This knife came out at Goodwill. Wustoff is a good brand, and they had a bunch of other stuff. It didn't make any sense. They had like a uh, silverware a, a metal created silverware and it had some spoons, some knives. Then it had two knives. It had this one and it had another Wustoff knife in there and they priced it all for $10, okay? So $10. And I sold this one for $42 plus $11 shipping. So really easy uh, flip. Anytime you find knives, they can be, generally speaking, some quality knives out there. Uh, Cutco is the brand that a lot of people like to get because Cutco, I think, offers lifetime sharpening or something. If Tell me what it is in the comments if you know what Cutco uh, does. I think it, this lifetime warranty and, and some, some other stuff, sharpening, all that kind of stuff. All right, uh, we got this one last one, and it's very, very cool. In the bin of books, okay, uh, there was a box and about a half, pretty good-sized box and a half of comic books, okay? comic books now they sat in the back of my car for a while of all the things i do i think they're the hardest thing to figure out tell me if you think this same thing because there are so many comics now generally speaking you can do um one of two things when you look at it if you see 10 cents that kind of thing 1950s the the golden era maybe of the comic books or whenever but if you see that that might help you a little bit so price year all that kind of stuff helps you but there are still within each year there could be something really valuable so i kind of 
took the comics out and then I basically sort through them, you know, trying to divide up and guess what is more valuable. Again, this is what I'm talking about with life knowledge and general knowledge, that kind of thing. You're going to know that maybe DC Comics or uh, something over here, there's an independent over here. So you're going to start to figure that out. But then you start to look at like some stuff like this. This is called Strangers in Paradise 1, 2, and 3. Okay. All right. So I'm looking for that also. I'm looking, can I, okay, I can lot that together. Now let's look it up. That's all you got to do. Now let's look it up. The other thing you got to make sure you look at is if it's a first edition meaning the first printing. And I'm not gonna show you on here, but if you open this up, down below it would, it, it would say, uh, Strangers in Paradise, I think this was uh, 1993. That's what it said. Now, you need to look up on eBay to try to find a second or a third or whatever. If somebody says Strangers in Paradise second, go look at that one and compare down below and see what it says. So what this was doing was, the second printing was saying Strangers in Paradise 1993, second printing mine didn't say first third second or nothing so i thought i had first i looked i found a third so then i knew this was a first first edition of each one of these okay now i'll just dig a little bit further see what you can come up with for price these sold for three hundred dollars three hundred bucks i sold two other comics that i also found in there for about a hundred and a hundred and twenty so five of those comics that i found $500, $500. And I got a bunch more that I kind of got to go through and I've been going through. And I am i don't know if I'm going to lot them up or take all my comics that I have offline and take them to a comic shop. What do you think I should do with comic books? That I Should I lot them in 10s, 20s, 30s? If anybody has any experience with comic books, let me know. It is a tough area for me. But hey, not tough enough to not make 500 300 here and two others. They're probably of the video prior would have showed you the two for, for 100 and 100. So this will be after that. So hey, can't, can't complain, right? Can't complain. All right, so hey, things are, uh, things are kind of mellow out there. Nothing super great, nothing super bad. And uh, you just gotta keep going. We'll talk about how uh, some other thinking that I have in a future video. And one key area in a new future video that will definitely make your life easier when we talk about that. It's hard to do, but if you can get there, you're going to be way better off, way better off. We're going to talk about that in another video, probably another week or two. You'll see it. All right, guys. Hey, thank you for watching my videos. I love it. I love it. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. Help me out. And I will see you in my next video.